Uh, you're very low. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Hello? Oh, there you are. Unbelievable, this guy. <laughs> what, what is that? How is that me? Uh, you were probably doing something again. You got knobs turned again or well, volume's I, low? No, or... that was you, man. That was you, as usual. It sounds, you know, it sounds clear today, except for one thing. What's that? Did you just run up a flight of stairs? No. It sounds like you're out of breath. Dude, I get out of breath uh, walking across the fucking room. <laughs> That's the sushi, or or maybe it's the twelve bowls of Wawa you eat a day. I, I only eat one. I have we, listen. Me and Fat Marco go for uh for breakfast. And then yeah. we, we do our best to only eat that for the rest of the day. But yeah. then usually uh, if we kick off early, uh, I have him swing by Publix on the way home and I grab a pint of ice cream and a steak or something. And then by like 4 o'clock, I've, I've fed again. And uh, then I try and call it a day. But I do, I do keep an eye out on TikTok because I do have footage of him eating an M&M cookie. Uh, Oh my God! I was about to just ask you how's how's the uh, Fat Marco diet going? Yeah, you know, he 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 uh, he talks a big game, and I'm sure he's doing lots of push-ups at home when no one's looking. But uh, when he, uh... <laughs> I mean, but that's like if a tree falls in the woods and no one's there, does it even count? <laughs> I mean, maybe I don't know if his shirt starts looking tight for the right reasons. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, and then he like you know he only eats once in my presence. Uh, while we're working, uh, unless, of course, you know, he deserved a treat, quote unquote, and then there's a a, a brownie on the dashboard or, you know, today was a cookie. Uh, so, you know, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. It, it's it, it's he like he really thinks he deserves the treat. That's the funny part. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, come on, man. It's it's wow. like a whole rationalization there. Wow. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe we well, both do for like mental health abuse uh, with our job, but uh, you know, uh, yeah, you, know, you you understand what I'm talking about. But uh, I understand. Well, I know I know your boss. Anyway, <laughs> listen. Uh, sooner or later, we'll I'll start doing some shoot stories about work. I just uh, <laughs> not right now. Not while I'm still be careful right now. Not not while right. I'm still drawing a paycheck from there. So right, right. so uh, what's been going on since the last for files, my friend? Uh, I can't remember. Did, did I? That's how you got my car back, right? I told you the story. Yeah, yeah. Right. You, you got your car back. Right, I got the car back. Yeah, uh, it's running like a butte. It's mm -hmm. not, but let me tell you, <laughs> I, yesterday I'm driving in the car and I'm like, this is uncomfortable. Uh huh. You miss? I need the minivan back. You miss the minivan. <laughs> I do. I need. I. I just. It was. It's not as comfortable anymore. I'm. I'm pissed. You didn't take the picture. Of you in the back know, seat with I your know. daughter driving. I but here's the thing. I never thought my car was uncomfortable until yesterday. I was like, wait a second. Until you this knew what been... real comfort right. was. Yeah. Now I feel like it's like I now that I know what it's like to drive in a van, I'll never it's like once you go van you never go back. Right. <laughs> you can't you can't uh, go from fancy to not fancy again, you know. Right, and I'm in this Ford Fusion with you know 100,000 miles, and I'm like, cr I feel cramped. Yeah, maybe you should just wreck it. Maybe you should. Uh, come on, don't say that. Maybe you should dump it in a lake and report it stolen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go yeah. Dr go drive it somewhere, set it on fire, and walk home. I mean, I gotta be close to get a new car soon, so we'll, well see. If you got 100,000 miles on that thing, but yeah, I would. Think. Yeah, I'm close. I think I'm close. Yeah. yeah. So uh, no, I I. Uh, the only other st I got a good this is not a good story it's actually I totally am an idiot. So if you follow me on the TikTok, mm. I made a video about a new coffee mug I got from, you know, somebody who follows me and uh, sent me a coffee mug. Somebody well, from Massachusetts thinks you're terrific or something like that. Right, right. So I I get a message from a lady who says, "Hey, I sent you something." And blah blah blah. Okay, cool. Well, I assumed that the box I got was from that lady because that's the only message I got of someone telling me they sent me something. Right. So I do this whole video. I thank her. I get a message 10 minutes later from someone and says, why are you thanking her? I sent you the mug. <laughs> <laughs> 
So oh, and the other one me. didn't correct you. She just took the fucking the glory. She didn't say anything. What the but, fuck? But here's the thing: is is a uh, um like. I, I don't know how I got. I don't even know. The other lady didn't say anything that she sent something. I got confused. So then I had to make a second video <laughs> apologizing and putting over the real cup oh one. Oh my god! So, right, like I, I got, I got confused. Well, anyway, I got the the first lady that I think that was wrong. I got her mug today, right. which I'll be doing a video later. Her mug is, this is a top notch mug. Oh my god! Here we go again. The mug I, collector. I gotta tell you. Yeah. First of all, the collection's getting out of hand here. I, I'll say. But second, the mug is. I mean, this is this is maybe one of the best mugs ever. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if I should say it or do I just wait till you see my TikTok. No, you gotta say it. I mean, listen. This okay. This mug is literally a face of just. It's just a beard. It's like a face of a beard. I, it's crazy. It's like a. She found a bearded mug. It's not fuzzy. It's though. wild. It's not fuzzy though, right? No, no, no. But it just—it's it's a bearded mug. Oh, I can't Ooh. picture it. I'll, I'm gonna have to look at the TikTok. But I—I I mean, yeah. that's cool. You're getting more mugs in the mail. Uh, you're gonna have to uh, get a bigger kitchen. The soon. mug collection's growing. Yeah. You're gonna have to start throwing yeah. away some of your pots and pans you never use, and. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna have to, it's the the. It's getting full in there. Yeah. Yeah, getting a full little mug collection going. But, yeah, so I thanked the wrong person. What a mm. flub that was. That's funny. Now, I I will bring yeah. this up. Not yeah. not uh, not for the reason you think, but uh, uh, I know that – was this the mug that came with a return of a shirt? The one today did, yeah. Yeah, okay. So apparently – Oh, Jesus Christ, with the noise, my I'm friend. I'm getting the dog food. Jesus, oh come God. on. I even tried to be quiet because I was like, this this, this freaking this podcast Nazi is going to say something <laughs> to me. And Listen, I even tried to be quiet. That was that was the opposite of quiet, my friend. Right, right. Right. You, uh, so what are you saying? Okay. So, uh, well, first I'm going to say the dog could wait 15 minutes. But anyways... Uh, so, I was trying to avoid her bark because then you would have been like, shut that dog up. <laughs> this is true too. I, I you're, you were a rock. <laughs> you were right now rocking a hard place situation there. Right. All right. So <laughs> you're gonna have to work on your quiet skills though. I, right. Uh, uh, so apparently I sent someone the wrong shirt, and right. I just wanted to bring up the fact that I love that because you're like the face of the brand. That like you're the one with like four. <laughs> 40,000 tick to 50,000. What are you at? Some ridiculous number. Inch yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're close yeah. to 50,000 on your way to yeah. lapping noodles and likes and follows <laughs> that, um, uh, that, uh, you're the one that's getting all the customer service messages. Not me. I know. <laughs> I love when people go, Hey, uh, I got the wrong thing or where, where's my order or can you check on? And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> but she even said because i sent you this she even mentioned you yeah and i was like you're mentioning him but sending it to me like yeah 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 well you know? welcome welcome to the big leagues pal it's it's not like we don't have contact information on our website right but but, but me i'm like but i'm the total ass now goes, now the funny uh, of course i but i said it i said i i will say of course he sent you the wrong shirt Right, like I bury you. You love to bury me, so I'm glad oh, that you're yeah. getting is for in exchange. It seems like a fair exchange. <laughs> the, now, yeah, right. now the ultimate rib is going to be when one day I just uh, put uh, on the on the uh, contact page your home phone number uh, oh. for all cust <laughs> for all cust you know questions, comments, or complaints. Yeah, you know uh, we. That would suck. We'd love to hear from you. Call us at. I'll just put your number. Wow. <laughs> that's wow. A, that's an old Bobby Rogers rib right there, pal. Uh, totally, he would do that. He's done that before. <laughs> when did when yeah. when did he give your number out the last time? Like, I know you were at. He put it on Facebook. Did he? When you were like, uh, you you weren't here anymore, right? You were. You right. Were, right. Uh, yeah, that's funny. How many yeah. calls did you get off of it? 
I was getting these weird text messages and like hmm. like like really weird text messages, really weird calls, like really weird stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So Right. Yeah. That's that's I, that's gonna happen one day. I'll sneak. Yeah. In, I'll sneak it in there yeah, on, on a good. on nice. a podcast you're not listening to. Um, yeah. That could be any one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, these you're participating in, but uh, right, right. You know, with me and Marco, I know you. So, uh, what else you got for me? Uh, you know, I, I really don't have anything today. Oh, I, I this might be short, which is good because we got a heat game to watch. But uh. Uh, right, which hey, listen, let, let, we can even talk about that. Was that not the best? First of all, the game was I. I mean, I was glued to the TV, but was that not one of the best defensive plays you've ever seen? Well, Magic Johnson the, seems to a, think so. Right, but in a playoff semi, I mean, this you're, this is you're playing to go to the finals. Like, yeah, was I mean. I jumped off the couch. Like I literally got up and I was like, Oh my that like did that just happen? Yeah. I watched that and like for anyone that is not sports centric, we'll we'll get through this right. quick. But uh basically someone was going to uh do a dunk in overtime, really close to the end of overtime. Like that would have right. really fucking might have put the nail in the coffin. Uh he's yeah. so you're he's coming down with all of his power to do a dunk and uh bam on the heat, bam, I can't pronounce it. What are you, Adebayo yeah. or something? Um, yeah. He comes up and he blocks it, but his hand, his wrist is all the way back. Like it's bent all the way back as far as it can go. The ball hits his wrist and f- the power of the dunk coming down versus his right. wrist strength, he powered that ball forward in a way I've never seen. Like the, I've never the seen physics. Him. fouling the guy. He never even right. touched him. But I'm saying the physics of it. Where like right. that ball's coming, he's dunking it, and <laughs> right. your hand's already extended back, and to power it out is just insane. Right. So that what I've never yeah. seen it in my life. Ever. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty spectacular. So, uh, yeah, that that had me going too. I listen. And I'm listen. Hey, I, I, I'm rooting for the Heat. I'm I'm a New York Knicks fan. It's you know been a terrible lifetime well, as it's, a New York Knicks fan. It's not hard to root against the Celtics unless you're from New England. You know, well, here's the thing. I hate the Celtics. Right. I hate the Lakers. Right. Same. Uh, same. I would love to see a Heat Nuggets championship. That's fair. That that would be a it. that would be a I, Jackie dream too. Right. It, oh, what a, what a Jackie dream that would be. You're right. <laughs> right. And and here's the thing. A Heat Nuggets series. I honestly I couldn't tell you who's going to win. Like that would be just up yeah. in the air. Yeah. Well, it's it's yeah. it's as a Heat fan, and then we'll get off of this. Uh, it's very exciting. In that, I don't think anyone saw expected this from this team, and that mm-hmm. al- also um, the fact that they've only lost one game so far is right. like crazy. Right. Uh, yeah, and even the one they lost, it was like you know down to the wire. It wasn't like they they got beat right. by ten points or anything. So right, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I have Speaking I have of heat though. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, the transition. Who has heat? Who has heat? I'd love to hear this. No, there's no. No, I'm not talking about heat. I was actually talking about the colors, and it made me think about one of the hats coming out. Oh, Bruce listen, hats. my fucking stoner weed, in, uh, weed saturated screen printer that's supposed to get these embroidered. I don't, I don't know. I texted yeah. him yesterday. I still haven't heard from him, so I'll probably call him tomorrow. I just forgot to uh, reach out to him today. I'm uh, just curious about that. I would love, I would love a hat. Yeah, I think we're only going with the black ones for now, but because. Uh, okay. I tried to get him to find the uh, blue and pink ones, and he can't find them. Yeah. And I couldn't okay. find them online, so whatever. But anyway, yeah, we're working on it. Maybe by next week we'll have them on the website. We'll see. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what do you got? Well, I have two things. One's from a few weeks ago. And I don't know. This is like a you and me probably have different portions of this night that we could tell stories off of. But I okay. still have the poorhouse story the night before Ring Warriors with, you know, with Vito right. and the girl that recognized you guys uh, from the cosplay wrestling and me avoiding getting photographed because I had Jackie Heat, all of that. I have that. And I also have from like two podcasts ago when you were bragging about going to Golden Corral. Uh, right. My golden, oh, yeah. my golden corral. It's not really a story, but it's why I will never step foot in a golden corral ever again. Um, 
Uh, so let, let's let's see, let's just hit that one first since we're on it. Uh, you know, uh, low end, and I'll call I'll be generous calling it a low end, but low end, like you know, under twenty twenty five bucks a person uh, uh, buffets are all kind of sketch in one way or another. Um, I don't know if you'd agree with me there, but I feel like anytime you go to one that's like, especially one that runs under 20 bucks a person, you're, you're, right. you're definitely uh, taking a little gamble in your hands. I feel that at times uh, it's the smartest time to go to one of those places is right after they reopen from being shut down by the health inspector because they're going to be on their best behavior for a week or two because they got caught. Um, okay. <laughs> so, you know, call me crazy, but I eat at that Shinju by us all the time and they, they got shut down once. I don't, I don't, I, I don't care. I have a good, from growing up in the eighties, I have a pretty healthy immune system. Uh, right. I agree. You I know what I mean? I've, e I've eaten salami that expired six weeks prior. And I was fine. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's a story we have to hit right now. What are you talking about? I was, uh, I was married at the time. Okay. And so you're, are you, I, you're already in the practice of making bad decisions. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> so I, I went in the fridge one day and I took out the salami and I said, Oh, that's weird. It expired six weeks ago, <laughs> but it looks fine. It, looks it smells fine. fine. It, yeah. And you know, everybody's like, you can't eat that. I ate the entire package. <laughs> I did not get sick. I did not, nothing. And I was like, you know why? It's because my parents didn't coddle me as a child and let me eat dirt and pick my nose and eat it and, you know, do right. all that good stuff. So right. I think I was immune to it. Yeah. I think you had a, a healthy immune system. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or you just got real fucking lucky and that's, it hadn't gone bad yet. Right. Or, or I, I was shitting and I just thought it was normal because, you know, I could not tell the difference at the time. <laughs> It's probably sick and didn't even know. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, sure. I, we Man, could. I that might be. A, that might. So what, actually what about this buffet? You're, you're going to yeah, make yeah. me never want to go back to Golden Corral again. Is this uh, dude, I would listen. I've never been to a Golden Corral that looked looked fine. And you live in Atlanta, and you're listen after your dealings with businesses in the last podcast. I can't imagine that a buffet is run any better than these. Uh, like that clip joint uh, uh, rental car agency or or your uh, your mechanic there, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but so I was in Orlando, and we went to a mm -hmm. Golden Corral, and I'm sitting there eating, and you know, whatever. It's it's listen. The best thing uh, you and I will agree. The best thing about a, a, a buffet is not only the the that you could eat as much as you want, but the variety. So like, right. you know, yeah, I'm not there for the quality. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to get quantity and quality. It's hard. You got to go to like the breakers mm -hmm. in West Palm Beach and it's one hundred twenty five dollars right. or or one of those Brazilian Radizio places. And that's 50 bucks. So, yeah. But uh, Golden Corral, I don't even know. They're like they were they're under like 10 bucks, right? Nine ninety five or something like that. I don't know. Or they were at the time. Golden Corral, it, honestly, it was, it was seven ninety nine. Right. It's like. Right. Like, what are you buying for seven ninety nine? So anyway, uh, everything's got to be like uh, on the uh, on the verge of expiration at the, that place. Um, but uh, you know, there's definitely no grass fed beef there. Uh, <laughs> so so I'm watching and this table like, you know, diagonal from us. It's a little bit away. It's one of those typical families with like a husband and wife and two kids and one kid's really young and he's like mm -hmm. uh in a in a high chair so whatever he's right. self-contained in his chaos and craziness all it can do is like be loud and noisy the other kid is doing what drives me crazy is doing that running all over the fucking restaurant thing oh, and yeah, the parents basically ignoring him and i swear to god i've weighed the options two maybe three times in my life of tripping one of those fucking kids that are just racing around like that <laughs> i swear and i'm like oh my god i would have gotten i'm go, oh my god i'm so sorry but you know i like as i'm helping a kid up maybe i'm like putting an elbow in him or something you know just something whisper mm -hmm. in his ear sort of you know sit the fuck down shut the fuck up you know just give him the business a little bit uh so this kid's doing it 
But then I see him and I'm looking over at this area where uh, they've got like, you know, when you stack uh, dishes to go in those big uh, right. industrial washers. So they're like yeah. these plastic crates and it's all like cups or it's all plates or it's all something. Yeah, you put them in there and right. dump them in. Right. So then when they come out, they stack one or two of them and they put them off to the side somewhere. And when they need to reload uh an area like if you're if it's cups let's say glass cups right uh they'll they'll leave them close to like where you get the other cups so that when they, they right. need more of that so there's stacked like two or three of these containers one on top of another of these of the plastic or glass i don't know what they were they might have been glass glass uh cups you know for like orange juice or soda or whatever right. this fucking snotty dirty fucking kid Hands and mouth rubbing its like snot running down its face, touching every fucking single wait one so of these they, cups. Wait, hold up! I thought this story was going to be about like poor food no, no, service no. or poor. Why would it be? So, that's not that's so, not the danger lurking at a Golden Corral. It's the fucking people inside. It's the lowest common denominator. You okay, go in one of those places, the ready? average weight of people in there goes up 35, 40 pounds. It's just the nature okay, wait, of the beast the here. Thing. Yeah. I'm going to kill your entire entire thing right now. Why? Dead. Okay, go ahead. Due to due to COVID, you no longer can get your own plate. Thing. So now the waitress comes from the back with your plate. If you think there being any cleaner in the back, you're mistaken. No, but that's not what you said to me. You're saying that a little snotty kid was touching it all, and that's why like little snotty kids can't touch it anymore. Okay. So, is there any difference for, in Golden Corral bringing you the plate, or for now, on the restaurant you go to? For Ale now, House? <laughs> are you going to stop going to Golden Corral after things open up more and you can get your own plate? I, honestly, I this is not even why I would stop going back. I've been there twice since they reopened the first week of August, and I just wasn't impressed at all because there's nothing to be impressed partial. about. It's not even that. It's my fault. It's my fault. Because I can't eat the fried chicken or the mac and cheese <laughs> or the, the I, I'm walking around the buffet going, you know, and they have keto options and like this. I, I will tell you, the salad bar is absolutely fantastic. Oh, I load the salad up with, Jesus with lettuce, I mean cheeses and and grilled chicken, and it's just, you know, it's fantastic salad. But the steak and the meat, it just wasn't exciting and just. Looking across at Lex, and she's powering down fried chicken and mac and cheese, and and, and you know ice cream, and, and I'm like, this really blows. Like you cannot, you know, you can't. That's like imagine going to Vegas on keto at a buffet. You'd die. Well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, they get the good cuts of meat, and you could get a lobster. I mean, it depends what, what uh. I guess yeah. What now? What buffet you're going to? If you're going to the Howard Brody special. Uh, well, I will tell you this though. I was on keto at Sam's Club in Las Vegas when we filmed the uh, the second the second season, first and second. Uh, I was on keto. Mm -hmm. It was August and October of 2018. I was on keto, and mm -hmm. when I got up there, I ate. I mean, there was all kinds of meats. You're right, all that kind of stuff. So I was able to eat good. But the best part was, Sam's Club had a uh, sugar-free dessert section and they used sugar alcohols and stevia to or sweeteners to make the dessert mm -hmm. so it was decent I, I mean I had to I mean it doesn't taste like obviously like the real thing but it was right. good enough to where I was felt you know but golden crisps it just didn't do it for me yeah well I think I'm done with it I've I've I think you should be done with it because I don't right. think I don't think that uh, the beef is actually from a cow. It's a it's a a a, a creative and loose term for beef. Uh, I I I don't know, man. I just for seven ninety nine. There's no fucking way. There's no way, man. There's no way that's actual food. I I wasn't impressed. I will tell yeah. you, I was. Now, from a cleanliness, they are cleaning. I noticed that they're you know plates, are, but it just wasn't. It wasn't good. It was just wasn't didn't do it for me. Yeah. Okay. But I think I think oh. Uh, this reminded me of a story that uh, isn't a, really about a buffet, but you know, a lot of places used to have uh, like salad bars, you know, and so right. you would order regular food, 
But if you right. order, you'd like, oh, it comes with a salad bar, or you can right, buy right. the salad bar, or whatever, like Ruby Tuesdays or something like that. Ruby Tuesday, yeah. So you remember Shoney's Barbecue? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There was one. Uh, I don't know if this is the one uh, you're familiar with, but there was one in uh, Davie off of University Drive by the Bally's Fitness. Uh, by the Bally's I've been there Fitness. Before. Yeah. Yeah. So they used to have a little salad bar between where. Right. <laughs> Between this place, uh, I don't know if they did Jewish lightning uh, and got a, uh, you know, an insurance right. check or if they just moved out or whatever. But it's like a Panera Bread now. But uh, but at one point there was a salad bar there. And there was this one time we were eating there and, you know, uh, we saw this old lady like it must have been in her 80s. And she's at the salad bar and, you know, the sneeze guards there. And yeah. she, and so you know that obviously you know that so you don't breathe or spit on the food, but you yeah. but you still have to reach under. She was trying to cut a piece off of like a giant block of cheese, and when I mean like a giant block of cheese, I mean like right. it must be like like a foot by six inches by six inches. It was giant. It was gigantic. Right. But instead of like cutting it, she took her hand and grabbed oh, the block my God. <laughs> and then cut. So yeah, there's uh, even the, even you just you reminded me of something. Yeah, you know how Publix, right? Publix is a supermarket here in the South. Yeah, Publix has the olive bar at some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I witnessed this old man go to the olive bar, take his hands, dip them in the olives, take a whole handful of olives. And just grab his shopping cart and just continue to walk to shop eating the olives. I was like, he just stuck his whole hand in that olive <laughs> thing, like no care about it. You didn't say anything? I, no, I was like, what? The, I was like, what just happened? So I told, I didn't say anything to him. I told the deli guy, oh, that old man just scooped his hand in there, grabbed a whole handful of olives. He even shook it off, like shook the water off the olives, and just popped them in his mouth, and he's walking shopping. And I was like, oh, my. of course that happened in Boca. So, I mean, it doesn't surprise you. No. But uh, I could not believe he did that. And he just, like, no fucks given, was just eating the, ate it right out of the thing. And I was like, what a fuck? How many times has he done that and no one noticed? Oh. That wasn't his first time. No, that not not to be that brazen. No. Like, he no, probably didn't even no. give a look around. You know what I mean? Like, to see if anyone was he looking. He didn't even, no, no. His eyes... They were. It was olives, <laughs> olives to mouth, and then he just started shopping. Oh, like, so that was like who was that was like his nineteenth rodeo. You know what I mean? That was right, like, right, right. <laughs> yeah, like, that's wow, crazy. I'm never getting those olives. I saw I yeah. saw a thing on TikTok where uh, I don't know if it was TikTok or like Instagram, one of those videos. Uh, yeah. Well, it was with videos, and they're filming this guy, and he was at the not the olive bar, but the where they have kind of like hot foods, and uh, right, it was. It was either Publix or Whole Foods, either Do one. Do you need a drink or something? You're, you're choking over there, you're coughing. I hiccuped, I choked. Like yeah, so yeah. you're eating peanut butter? What, no, what's I got, going on? I, I'm, I'm having physical maladies here. Uh, Jesus. This guy went to where the soups are and yeah. did one of those, dip the big ladle in and take a big sip ski right off the label and then put the ladle back in the thing. And, and he, that was it. He just did it like that. Yeah, just like like you know, like in those old you know those movies where they drink from a bucket of water and there's a little ladle scoop, you know. Right, right. Yeah, dude, could could you ask your dog to be quiet, please? You want to know why the dogs bark? Because he's hungry. No, the creepy blonde girl's at the window again. <laughs> the albino. <laughs> She's there. What right is now? It? Is this like? Is this unannounced or is, you, is this expected? I, I, what do you know? I was, I'm, I'm walking around the kitchen here and, and my door is like past the kitchen and I kind of walked over there and I looked out and she was riding her bike up. And when I, I like looked, she looked up at me and she went, ha! That's what she just did. And then I walked away. I shoot her with my hand and then the dog went crazy. <laughs> like she would just appeared. Oh my God, Ken! You're gonna have to snap. Well, albino. You're gonna have to snap me a picture of this. I just need this. Like, God, we're not even where she came from. Oh my God, is this a neighborhood yeah. kid, or nobody know where she lives? She, yeah, lives, she lives in a couple houses down. Oh, I thought maybe she lived out in the woods or something. You know what the worst part is? What? Her brother's a ginger. Huh? Like those parents really got fucked. <laughs> like. 
Like, what are the chances you get like one and one like that? <laughs> well, I don't know what they look like. Maybe they're both gingers. I don't, know. I don't even know if there is parents there. I couldn't tell you. You've never met the parents. You just had the strange kids, kids show up at your house. Their own. <laughs> <laughs> right? They murdered their parents. Right. Right, right, or or like I'm gonna tell one of the neighbors one day. They're gonna be like, "What are you talking about? There's nobody lives in that house. Right. The house has been empty for years." Right. Like what? No, that family died in a fire in 1977. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I'm like, what? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh my god, that's why she was wears the same stupid looking outfit. Right. No. Oh. That's the anyway. thing. That's the thing. When you die, <sighs> you better be wearing what you want to be seen in as a ghost. Because that's right. you get stuck in your outfit for all eternity. And that's it. You're done. Yeah. So you know, right. knowing you, you'll be in your underwear. <laughs> if I'm lucky. If you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. Well, I listen. I don't have anything else really. I, this is very solid on the fly podcast. Yeah, we about nothing off the cuff. By the anyways, I think. Uh, I think we want to save that poorhouse one for another time because that's that's I think so too. that's in depth. Maybe uh, maybe maybe right. next week one of the two will be dedicated just to that. What are we gonna have people on? I thought we were gonna have guests on, but you I, can't figure this out. I told you that uh, shoddy equipment. That I you told you there. to to schedule it for whenever, but it's gonna be on your end because uh, this setup won't let me do two calls. You're gonna have to like do a three way on your phone or something. <clears throat> yeah, we got we got to get on. Uh, we got to get. Uh, Mark on, Jessica on, and I got a request today from someone to be on the podcast. Who? Remember the guy I was telling you about, the wrestler with the Tourette's? Yeah, oh my God. He messaged me and said, do you have a podcast? When am I going to be on? And I said, we're getting you on. <laughs> Tomorrow, yeah. I think yeah. that might be priority number one. I mean, he's a great guy. Like, I don't, I'm not taking, like, I, that came off totally wrong. Uh, <laughs> he is, I like, he is the funniest. He is so funny. And I've wrestled him before. I was his last match before he retired, and now he wants to come back. Well, that's great that you actually remembered wrestling him and not the other guy. No wonder the other guy didn't want to meet up with you. Probably, honestly, I thought about that. I was like, no wonder he was on videos with me. I had shit all over him. And I was like, no, who are you? Yeah. And he was like, we wrestled before. And I was like, oh, shit, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you shot yourself on the foot on that one. Right. Yeah. You know, what are you oh, gonna well. do? Oh, I'm gonna go work out because I. Oh, that's right. I weighed 226 today. Oh, um, God. 46 pounds down since oh, May 19. God. So I'm gonna work out and I'm gonna make some steak. Yeah. Fajitas, yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna eat that. You're copying uh, me. I already made I'm, steak today. Uh, did you? Yeah. You, but you know what? You weigh 226 and you're fat. So I, I might. I don't know. I haven't been on oh, scale. And, and I just want you to watch out because. Because I have a TikTok video I'm about to post. It's it's a repost of one of your videos on the Brizcliff page. But I added a song to it, and I added a hashtag t- Tubby Temples. What? Why? Why, why are you not? Why are you trying to steal our thunder again? Because I I'm struggling here. All right, the, just be prepared for me to steal some of your stuff. Or am I get, I'm, I'm going to get a cease and desist letter later tonight. You might get a C and D. <laughs> I have, I've been, uh, I've been ripping those out lately. Yeah, and the big news of the day. We'll end it with this: is mm-hmm. Santa Claus followed me on TikTok today. He's verified. Is he verified as Santa Claus? He's, I swear to you, the account is Santa Claus. It is literally a Santa Claus account. It has like 1.5 million followers. He followed me today. And it's a verified account, huh? Verified account, and he wrote. Uh, because I've been posting these Christmas videos, he's very ecstatic, and I'm on the good list now. Did does he so. realize? Does he know how much of a cheap Jew you are, though? And this is this is Jew verified from a Jew. I'm telling, right. I'm calling you a cheap Jew because I can. I am a Jew, uh, and you're right. a, you're an embarrassment to. No, Santa, Santa doesn't know this, but Santa's following me. He's <laughs> okay. verified. Because so. uh, you're basically Jewish at this point, is what I'm saying. For, just based off <laughs> your cheapness. Just right. Ah, you're right. Yeah. So, okay. I'm gonna uh, tell my mom. I'm gonna tell my mom on you. <laughs> yeah. Tell her. Uh, 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 Although she did agree that, that we're very similar. So. Uh, yeah, she <laughs> did. Uh, anyone who gets triggered by me calling him a Jew, you can go fuck yourselves because uh, uh, I'm claiming the the naming rights based on the fact that I am a Jew. Uh, right. I can make Jew jokes, so deal with it. Also, the, you definitely probably have pictures wearing a yarmulke somewhere in your album. Oh, I got bar mitzvah pictures. What are you talking about? Right. I mean, those You're are, allowed to. Those allowed are to see, super secret. No, those will never see the light of day. Let me tell you a quick story really quickly. Um, okay. So my you mom. Hurry up. I got to pee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
so I am, I was having my bar mitzvah, and my mom decided because, uh, you know, we didn't have a ton of money at the time, that uh, she's just gonna do the the for the party. She's gonna do her own like decorating and stuff, and it ended up becoming a business for her party planning and balloons and all no centerpieces from my bar mitzvah she built a very successful like party planning business wow. uh she was doing those pier 66 new year's eve parties she was doing all that kind of stuff so um wow yeah but it was one of those where one day she just asked me do you like garfield i was like i guess she's like okay and i didn't know anything about it the next thing i know that's the theme for my bar mitzvah party and I'm like, and I'm like, what the fuck this Garfield shit? Like, like, like I was in the comic books. I was in all kinds of like actual fun and cool shit. And I ended up getting hijacked by my own mother because she had some vision of like stuffed Garfields, uh, looking at big goblets with, uh, gold live goldfish in them as centerpieces. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a bar mitzvah picture of me that everyone, you know, the, you, the big picture that everyone signs around. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. It's me surrounded by stuffed Garfields. That is amazing. What a rip by mom. <laughs> My mom got me good. She was like, you like Garfield one day? I'm like, I guess. And that was it. She was off to the races. I got Oh, my God. Your fucked. friends must have been like, I could have had. Loser. <laughs> I could have had. If I'd known what this was about, I could have had yeah. a comic book themed bar mitzvah. I could have right, had a right. WWE themed bar mitzvah. Nope. I got wow. stuck with fucking Garfield. And then I had to that look is, at that. that. Honestly, that is a great story. And those pictures, me and my brothers, my sister, all of our bar mitzvah, those big ones that everyone signs that you don't know any of those people anymore. Uh, right. They were all in my family's house on the one wall. When everyone fucking walks in, there, everyone, I have one of my friends that came over for the next five or six years till I wasn't living there anymore. Oh, yeah, here's me looking like a jackass, uh, you know. So I had this vision of you with your yarmulke and your little like Torah thing around your neck, whatever that's called, and Garfield like over your left shoulder. It's kind of, I mean, it's it's kind of like that, except more Garfield. You're kind of like turned to the side a little bit. And Garfield. because this wasn't like the official bar mitzvah picture, it's a picture of me for at that people like wrote on the borders and stuff of. It was me and one of those like little collar. It was basically like one of those shirts you wear to work, one of those Sesame Street collared shirts with the horizontal stripes. It, it's right. fucking it's awful this is amazing so Great. so that well, reminded I just, peed, I just peed while you told the whole story, that's cool so. i'm making a note because that reminds me of the yeah. uh story of the au pair so uh uh oh, one of these days uh we'll talk about i'll make a note of the uh the sexy swedish au pair that lived at our house for six months while i was 13 years old and discovering how to jerk off <laughs> Oh, that's what we want to hear. All right. Well, we should probably end the podcast on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll uh, we'll get out of here. I got a heat game to watch anyway, so. All right, goodbye. Go cook your steak, you fat fuck. Goodbye. Okay, bye.